Bagana mange mwena mwena Aba tulaba Aba li jemuli Uganda Uluwa alero Eno jemuli ngeda wano Ye Hotel Umuli nabandi ya mwaze Uluwa alero avau wano Tusaze utu staging demonstration Against Her Actions in Japan Appeals is ever kolo kusava sente Uluwa alero vimula wano Na Uganda Aba ina E viva nyiga ukulaba nti tu fula Obi yambi wano kufa muma wanga nga gano Japani ye muku mawanga Aga kula evi ntubi ya go muma zima no obwe nkanya Evi sere evi singa Teba manyi bulimba So obulimba naba njabu eva kula Ya ze wano avila musamit ya sose Yeo kuluwa nila bantu abatalina mere Baga mabantu tebalina mere abana bafi njala so we are here to put things right. Whatever lies they made, we are putting them right and we are saying it loud to the Japanese government and the Japanese nationals, everyone concerned that they should not be conned by the junta whose government is illegitimate. We engaged in a, a, a general presidential election that we, our candidate, uh, Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, unanimously won beyond reasonable doubt so Museveni as usual since he has never won any genuine election they've lost every support I think Museveni is a blood a cold blood killer for our Japanese people to be able to understand the message. Free our people, he has abducted many of our people. But never see they bring back our people. I think Uganda. We managed to come up with something at least to Gambanti. Recently, Uganda Ebola. Ebola has been a disease in Uganda. We cannot say that it's wrong, but they are trying to exaggerate the pandemic. Uh, or the, the epidemic is not a pandemic, actually. They are saying it's a, an, uh, a pandemic, yet it's not. According to what they do, always contradict whatever they say. Right now, we have Nabanja, who is here to solicit funds since they've lost credibility from all uh, money lenders or money lending organizations, legitimate organizations. So they try to con other countries, Japan inclusive. And now, since they failed, last time Museven tried to access that, uh, the, the funds in the TICAD, and we fought it. We fought it. So... We are trying this time round to come up with the same information despite uh, uh, hiding it away from us. We've managed to come up with something and we shall try to follow it up so that they do not get money at all. Tuwa gala museveni, achivemo batuvire bavemo nsi yafe. Obaba gala, obate ba gala. Tuge na kudamu okuangelo kuwa yo mesejeno. Tuze ne petition ya miko eviri. Moja kubanga tuja jiba tera kumiti mba gano mojirawe Enyo nyola bulichimuche bali imbi avantu Avantu we njini njini we bali It's not an illegal demonstration you see here It's a peaceful demonstration But we want to put things right We are calling upon all concerned people in the world To stop being hoodwinked To get the truth Because there's no way they can come up with the truth Unless they talk to the people concerned Ugandans uh, yesterday, Nabanja was also uh, uh, on one of the Japanese televisions, NHK, where she said she was lamenting that Ugandans are dying of hunger. Ugandans are dying of hunger, and the main cause is that the government is behind the land grabbing and the destruction of the already grown food. 
So, Ugandans are hard-working people. We work. We know how to work for ourselves. We are not beggars. They are turning us into beggars and a laughing stock in the whole world. We are not weaklings. And you know, we bear witness and all people that well, all, all people all over the world can accept that. So, we are calling upon everyone concerned. Please, make sure wherever you are, you notify the people or the community where you reside, where you, re you, uh, where, where, where you are right now, and tell them they should not be hoodwinked by these crooks. It's a government of crooks. They, con they conduct lies. They, they say they want to save Ugandan children that are suffering, but they are the very people behind the abduction and killing of their own fathers. So, Ugandan people are working and they can work for themselves. We can sustain ourselves if we get rid of the junta. And they've been always sustained by these other governments that get hoodwinked. And that is what we are trying to give out today. So, we call upon all Ugandans from every corner of the world and all other people, peace-loving people, please, please and please, make sure you do not fall into the traps of these thieves. Nabanja is inside here and as usual, she's now the only person that has had a, a, a clean record before she has been brought into this to sit in for other uh, well-known uh, international crooks. The, in, the invitation was set for the first lady and she could not attend because she knew this was going to come up. They tried to hide the information and finally we got here. We would have turned up in many numbers, but at least these ones came to make a point. Even a single Ugandan is enough to give out the truth. We want to notify and we, I will give you uh, voices of these people. Here I am your host today on all platforms of national unity platform, all, all platforms that advocate for change in the country. We still demand the release of our people, a stoppage to the abductions, the torture and all other human rights in uh, all other human rights abuses that Ugandans are subject, subjected to.